This is the future Oak or the future G-Shock envisioned by Casio. I must admit, I wasn't a huge G-Shock fan, although they got me into wristwatches definitively. But since I started to play with Casio Oaks, I'm now scanning super carefully everything that G-Shock releases. I document silently, I compare stats, and I compare them visually as well. And in my opinion, this B001 is worth our attention, as I find it, in some aspects, way more exciting than the Casio Oaks. With this addition, the brand proposed a new sensorial exercise of volumes and depths in the shape of the beloved octagonal design, but completely reimagined. With the question in mind, how can a future G-Shock look like? And the B001 is the answer, concluding that the future Oak is exciting. The design is very cool, the new future Oak is built with modern facets. As I mentioned, this model differentiates through depths embossed and engraved areas, similar to a modern sculpture or a sci-fi movie, why not? I love how the upper bezel is formed from four peaks, offering interesting rhythms instead of plain bezels. This type of bezel with the buried dial looks more like a volcano than a watch. In fact, the entire design of the case is pleated by a longitudinal axis, which breaks the case into two pieces. This is actually the motif of the watch. A watch you can break in two pieces, instead of the classic one, where the core of the watch can be stripped from its cover. So pretty unusual, but a good unusual, not a bad unusual in my opinion. In regard to the color palette, sadly I didn't have too many color options to choose from. The red one is pretty sporty, the transparent ones were too quirky in my opinion, and this all black version was the safer model to choose for review, although this model is the least inclusive from the color contrast perspective, mainly the opposite of the GN2100C model, which I praised it to be the more legible watch. However, if the model will have success, they will probably release the B-series in multiple colors, as you remember when the Casio was launched, they made it exclusively on three colors. And after three years, this model is made in plus 25 colors plus finishings. I was talking about the longitudinal split of the case which is composed from the same resin strap which is continued until it forms the half of the case, of course molded accordingly. So the lag width of the watch becomes the dial, that's funny. Another interesting decorative element is the fact that the covers are fixed to the core through the top and on the bottom areas with allen screws, and in the middle by normal screws which kinda reminds me of the ZRC divers. From the side we can read how the covers mold into the carbon core making room for the same interesting haptic and oversized pushers, which are in my opinion super cool, three of them are made in the same design concept except for the light button which has a different surface I guess to be identified easier in low light conditions. The specs are similar to the Casio, has 42.5mm in width with 46mm from top to bottom, has 13.8mm in height, the lag width is basically the dial so we cannot measure it, has 200m water resistance, has a mineral glass and weights 51 grams. Inside we have the module 5690 quads with Bluetooth compatibility, so an updated module compared to the normal Casio GA and GM which are equipped with the 5611 module. As comparison, the future Oak has the Bluetooth features plus 7 more time zones, but the battery life is decreased to 2 years instead of 3 years offered on the 5611 series. Price-wise, the B001 is positioned somewhere between the GA2100 and the GM2100, but more towards the GA series. As quality, we can salute the progress of technology, as these budget G-Shocks are becoming more refined and more appealing. Receiving refined textures and surfaces which a few years ago these finishings were equipping only premium G-Shocks. Here we can spot as well a difference in quality between the GA and the B001. The trimming, the engravings and the case surface is superior compared to the 2100 series. The dial is super cool as well as the case, which offers a fully matted experience with discrete grey accents and polished elements. These are extra differentiators to the elevation levels inside of the dial, spotting more than 6 levels of depth starting from the chapter ring. And that is super cool because it allows the light to do the rest, highlighting these differences to the human eye. And then the X factor, like the rest presented so far wasn't the X factor, is the mode wheel which was transformed from a hand indicator to a skeletonized wheel with a pointer, which basically browses the modules of the watch. But what I do love is the contrast of the trim design of the wheel with the zebra foreground which creates a cool effect underneath. 
As for Loom, G-Shock never disappoints. On this future oak we have some small baguettes with Loom, which is pretty terrible, I'm kidding, but it works. For sure the lead is the base of reading the time in low light conditions. And then the strap continues the same design faceted manner. And I love how the retainer was recreated as well to match the design language of the bezel appearance. And as well for the plastic buckle which is tailored in the same spirit. However this design with the accordion strap doesn't feel to be as comfortable as the GA or the square straps. Because it puts pressure on the upper part of the wrist which personally annoys me. I believe because the strap is the bezel as well. The material must be more rigid which will sacrifice from the comfort perspective. But other than that, once adjusted on the wrist, the watch is super cool and lightweight. It offers quite an experience to preview this design on the wrist. Concluding that the Future Oak is in my opinion a more exciting watch to preview and to wear compared to the GA series. But what do you think about the future of G-Shock? Please let me know in the comments below. And as usual if you're new around please consider subscribing for future episodes. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching and until next time, be brave, but stay safe.